are at Hollywood Studios and look at this place. It is decked for the holidays. Oh, that's a pretty picture right there. Holy cow. Ooh, look at it all. And it's got the old fashioned billboards, which I love. So we have 8.30 reservations at Mama Melrose, which that will be all of the upcharge restaurants here. So that's at 8.30. Yeah, and then we're gonna show you all the Christmas decorations here at Hollywood Studios. The park, the entrance looks like amazing. Yeah. Holy cow. And we'll see <laughs> if they have any different Christmas merch that they've had other than at uh, Animal Kingdom or at World of Disney. So you can take a look and see if there's anything you like. Yeah, all right, so we'll show you the park, give us a like, and come along with us. We'll show you uh, Hollywood Studios all decked out. Let's go! So we're now getting our first look at Sunset Boulevard all decked out in holiday flair. <laughs> that is just incredible. They have cool lights every other time, but you add Christmas to it and it's a little bit more exciting. Oh, yeah. Filled with garland, <laughs> bells, <laughs> This is just... Trees. It's actually kind of ridiculous, so... It's definitely my favorite park when it's all decked out. What, uh, let us know what yours is. And Jazzy 50s. Oh, wow. Yep, and it's 50s style. Okay, we're at Mickey's of Hollywood, and other than the decorations, um, all the merch seems the same. So, what we showed you in our Animal King Kingdom video, it's pretty much the same. And there she is. We see it. Oh my gosh. Uh, we said last year, this is our, well, at least my favorite tree. I'm not sure about Andrea, but there it is. I just wow. got hit with a leaf. <laughs> she got hit with a leaf. <laughs> Scared Look me. at this. Gosh. All right. So that's awesome. And then these little retro 50s, like little discs or decorations right there. Those are so cool too. Yeah, they have oh. Rudolph, they got the old looking Santa. So we'll show you when we get there. That's, they're my favorite. I just love this park at, at Christmas. It's a must if you're in Disney. Absolute <laughs> must. Yeah. Okay, here's all the 50s decorations I was kind of talking about. They're all retro, but how cool. Yeah, look at that. There's Santa and bells and deer. And yeah, I just love those. Those are so cool. Just awesome. I like the whole reflection that you can see a whole tree in the lake. Yeah, look at all those back there. Holy cow. So cool. <laughs> look at this. Andrea, is there anything to see here? There's nothing to see. They look like little peppermints. Oh. How cool. I was going to call Ooh. them Little Bo Peep, but that's not right at all. <laughs> they kind of look just, like uh, peppermint Bo Peeps, maybe. They're just three little peppermint ladies in the field of lights. So in the Wizard of Oz, they have Follow the Yellow Big Road. And here at Sunset Boulevard, it's Follow the Red Star. I uh, know. Aren't they cool? <laughs> Let's follow them right to the Tower, Tower of Terror. Of Terror. There she is. Oh, well this is new. I think. Got some Mickey ears. Yeah. A whole wall of mini. So we needed a little snack, so we wanted to hop on Tower of Terror, 55 minute wait, we were hungry. Mickey pretzel for the win with some cheese, mango frozen margarita, and Andy's got the golden. Golden margarita. Margarita. We'll show you the stand on the way out where we got those. Cheers. Ears first. Oh, you can give 
give me the other one. Mm. That's pretty good. This should tide us over. We'll a mickey pretzel always tastes the best. Especially with a little cheese. All right, here it is, Anaheim Produce. They have the golden margaritas and the pretzels and the churros and really good stuff. And there's a Tower of Terror by it. Pretzel yep. was fabulous and now just working on the drink and we're gonna walk around. We still got dinner like an hour and a half. Yeah, we'll see if we could go find a ride somewhere. But uh, Tower of Terror is a little longer to wait. Oh, so here's Toy Story Land, and now the Christmas lights are actually in season. So these are always up though, but now definitely they're in play. Oh, yep. Here we are in Galaxy's Edge. There's the Millennium Falcon. We're considering doing this ride. It's only a 35 minute standby wait, and we actually have the time. So we may have to. And then it's only a 60 minute wait for Rise. 60 minutes for Rise? Yeah, but Slinky is still 120. <laughs> And it's hard not to just show this and show this. Every time you walk by it, you're like, holy cow. <laughs> All right, we may have been smart to wait. It now says 20 minutes. It might as well say 13 minutes. It may as well. 20 so is awesome. I think we better hurry and get in line. One. All right, we are walking right on to the ride. This is crazy. Well, to the first elevator before the elevator. Right, so we almost did this ride back in the daylight when we showed you. It would have been a 50 minute wait. 55. And now it's like 10 to 8 and it's a, almost a walk on. We walked right to this room without any wait. show the check-in desk. <laughs> All right. We got Jack Skellington. Oh, oh cool. he's wearing a little cowboy hat. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, you can get that yours. I don't know if I like yours. Maybe the shirt, though. You can get one of these little hats. Beyond the fifth dimension. <laughs> okay, well that was fun. 
We at least did one ride. And we got the front oh, row, and we didn't front. have to get Mike Wolowski. <laughs> Mike Wolowski. Wolowski. And we made sure not to do it to anybody else, so. Yeah, yeah, front row. That might have been the first time for the front row. I, yeah, I've been in the back before, but never the front. All right, it doesn't appear to be in focus, but yeah, yeah there's like a figure in this room way up there. So that's kind of cool. We need the telephoto. Next time. Oh, it's just crazy. Oh, here we have two more trees by Muppet Vision. Those are nice looking. And this is all decorated back here. And let us know if the Santa is always back here by Pizza Rizzo and then I know Mama that, Melrose. I know the huh? snowman and the sleigh is always, but I don't think Santa's always been here. Hmm. Look at him go, everybody. Where is right, he going? Very nice. I don't know where he's going. <laughs> and they have some candy canes. Cool. Ah, I'm hungry. And I like how the windows are decorated, too. All right, there goes Andrea. Bye. Okay, our first time at Mama Melrose, we just got seated. So, are you ready? She yeah, kind of knows already, what she wants. I so already know I. what I'm going to do. But yeah, look at the That's decor right. here. We've never been. This is really, really cool. Love it. Yeah, the decor is really nice. I like it. Yep, right there. Get myself the polenta cake, mushroom, and herb cauliflower. Ooh, I may go with the charred strip steak. So we have everything. Well, our appetizer is shown. We got the meatball appetizer. So look at that. That looks like a really good one. Good meatball. We'll cut that in half and then show it. And I have a Tuscany wine. Wine from Tuscany. Henry has Moscato di Asti. So My favorite. Her favorite. And we got a decent bread. They're like piping hot. Oh, that's a good looking meatball. Oh, yeah, cooked all the way through. Must be slow cooked. All right, so being good Italians, definitely order some Parmesan to go with it, or ask for Parmesan for the meatball. It's a uh, okay meatball. I will say I make a better meatball, but I've been making them for years. But it is good. I mean, it's decent. Um, we like it better, I think, with the Parmesan. Okay, so dinner has arrived. Andrea has polenta with... It's polenta cake with mushrooms, red bell peppers, and herbed cauliflower. Oh, look at that cauliflower. Looks very well cooked. You have to let me know how the cauliflower is. Looks good. And I went with a charred steak and a, like a creamy mac and cheese. So we'll dig in and let you know how everything is. Look at that reef. Holy cow. That's nice. There's Kermit over there. The hey, friend. Biggest one we've seen. Yeah. All right, so we left Mama Melrose, and I, I would have to say it, this place is probably a mess for us. Yeah. Um, the sirloin was like a little tough, and it's kind of like what you would see maybe in main dining room on a, on a cruise. Um, yeah, so that wasn't super good. Um, and I mean, the best thing, what I really like, I like the rolls, like dipped in the red sauce <laughs> with the Parmesan on it. That was really good. And <laughs> but, the plate of shredded Parmesan. And the Parmesan itself was good. But we tried it. This was our last upcharge. Yep. Our so let us know right if there. you've been here and, yeah, and what, what you, you think. think. Of it. But for us, I think it's a bit of a miss. Although we would like to try the wood fired pizza. Yep. <clears throat> but we're going to see if we can catch Fantasmic for our first time. Ooh, what happened over here? Those Muppets are very, very off with their paint. Kermit must have did that. Unless it was Miss Piggy. No, it was Animal.
just crazy. So this was our first time seeing it. We we'll would definitely see it again. Yeah, uh, I don't know how they did all the fire, water, Mickey's disappearing and appearing. <laughs> that was so cool. That was crazy. Yeah, so let us know if you've seen this, but we'll be back. And if you haven't, you gotta see it. So a quick trip we thought turned into probably the funnest nights we've had at Hollywood <laughs> Studios. Yeah, we did a lot. So we mainly just came out here to have dinner at Mama Melrose, but we ended up basically getting a walk on Tower of Terror. And then two minutes before Fantasmic started, we got a center seat as if we would have bought the dining package. So yeah. And yeah. don't forget, we saw the Christmas tree. Yeah. So don't forget to please give us a thumbs up because it really helps recommend our channel and please leave a comment and yeah we will see you next time, next time. Bye. Bye.